guys, it's Nicole, and we are on week one of our Getting Healthy Challenge. We have been looking for healthy recipes, low fat, low carb, um, healthy recipes that we can find a healthy balance. And we found this one that we want to try. It is a skinny taste recipe. It is a turkey taco spaghetti squash boat recipe. Um, so we're going to start off here. We got our huge spaghetti squash and to begin we have to cut this in half. Okay, I had to get the muscle in here. Not very good so at chopping things so the pro had to come in and obviously we're real people. We don't cut things directly in half, so it doesn't look as, as pretty as some of the pictures you might see on Pinterest. But, um, okay, the next step is we need to scoop out all of this. It's kind of like cleaning out a pumpkin. Okay, now that we have cleaned it out, cleaned our spaghetti squash out, we are going to sprinkle it with salt and pepper. So just light dusting, pepper. Salt, this is preparing it to bake. We're gonna bake the spaghetti squash. Okay, now that we've sprinkled the spaghetti squash with salt and pepper, now we're going to spray olive oil spray. Get a nice good coat on there. Then we are going to put the spaghetti squash on a baking sheet. Heat our oven to 400 degrees. It's preheating right now. We're at 100, we want to preheat to 400, and we're gonna bake it for about 50 minutes. Get it nice and soft. Okay, while we're waiting for the spaghetti squash to get nice and soft in the oven, we're going to brown our ground turkey. Take one pound of ground turkey. And we're just gonna let that Get nice and warm and brown. And while that's going, we're gonna get started on our pico. For the pico, we are going to take two tomatoes. And we're gonna get those chopped up If you're not used to cooking with ground turkey, it turns white. It's less of a brown color like you would normally get with ground beef. I'm gonna cut this part for Nick here. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do with this, the secret to cutting the onion is to keep the root on. All right, once you cut the root, it's gonna start to, it's gonna start to juice up and the juice is what makes you tear up, okay? Good and done in there. And get it nice and chopped up. Don't want big clumps. Okay, let that go for a few. Then we're gonna go ahead and put that onion in with the tomato. Mix that up good. Then we already have a half of a jalapeno minced up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there. Nice and messy. Okay. What do you then, have that is our spaghetti squash. It is, 
it is done. So we're just gonna let that sit for a few. Now, back to the Pico. We need our fresh lime juice. So we've got our lime. more thing that we need to add is our fresh cilantro. Definitely a must have in any fresh pico. Chop that up really good. And you'll just want a salt to taste. I don't like as much salt. John likes a little more salt. So we just put a little bit in can add more later if he wants. And there's your fresh pico. Okay, now we're back to our ground turkey. Let it cook a little bit longer than we probably it should. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. This is when we need to add our four ounces of tomato sauce, our half a cup of water, and our dry spices. I've already pre-mixed all of my, my dry spices together. cutting vegetables again you want to keep the flat side down flat side is the safe side okay so we're gonna cut that edge off there okay here's the part you're not going to use anyway I probably could have done a little better job at that okay we're gonna add our bell pepper the recipe calls for about two two teaspoons of, of green bell pepper but we're fans of green pepper, so we're gonna add a little bit more. Okay, so as you can see, the spaghetti squash just came out of the oven and it's quite hot. So we're gonna let it cool for a few minutes and then we're gonna pull it. Okay, so as soon as your squash is cool enough to handle, cool to the touch or warm to the touch, we want to take a fork and just run it along the inside of the spaghetti squash. See how that just pulls out really nicely. This can also be used for a substitute for noodles if you're in a low carb diet or you're, you're um, looking for something to replace pasta. Okay, after that, we want to take our meat Put it right there on top. Cover the top of it with cheese. Okay, then we're gonna stick those back in the oven for a few more minutes, let the cheese get nice and melted on there. Okay, now that we've melted the cheese on top of the spaghetti squash taco boats, we're going to top it with some, some of our fresh pico. Make it a mess. I'm going to have it any other way. And it's ready to serve. Yeah.